Hi, second grade. We have been talking about how shapes and lines make designs. And today, I want you to look at an artist. Her name is Laurel Birch, and she uses design in her artwork. Um, she makes a lot of paintings. She also makes things out of metal, things that people can wear, um, pins and jewelry that are animals, but are full of design. And so I have this little painting that I had started um, a few years ago. I had taught this lesson with paint and here is one of, here's a drawing of a cat inspired by Laurel Birch. You can see it's not finished. But um, I'm gonna show you today how to go ahead and draw a Laurel Birch cat and rather a cat inspired by the artwork of Laurel Birch. I want you to go ahead and draw that today and then next week we'll add the color. Okay, so we'll get the little, my paper here and this cat should fill the space. So I'm gonna start in the top corner with the head, then I'll add the big body around, add the legs and the tail so the whole thing fills the space. Okay. Um, starting up in the top corner with the head, I'm going to think about a U shape that's got a little bump in the bottom. So I'm going to come down like a U, but add a little bump in the bottom. Okay, and that's going to be my head. And then this cat needs some ears. Draw the ears. Come across with the forehead. Um, Laurel Birch's cats tend to have really big eyes. And so I'm going to start with two circles that are nice and big. And then I'm going to put those two circles into some oval shapes. Almost like a mask, like Batman maybe, I don't know. Then inside I'll draw the iris, which is the small circle and a reflection. And then if you want, it's okay to color in part of that with your marker. If you're using pencil, don't fill it in because you um, could add color to that. Okay, now I'm gonna use two triangles to make the nose. One triangle is going to go down for the top of the nose and one triangle is going to go the other way. Ooh, it almost looks like a bird. So here are my little cat nostrils. I'll connect this here and add the whiskers. And maybe these eyes need to come together a little bit more in a point. And just darken that in a little bit. Okay, there's my cat face. And here we go for the big body. Let me just sort of show you how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start um, way up at the top, come all the way around like I'm making an oval that fills my paper. And I'm gonna stop about here, sort of right under this cheek, okay? I think that Sharpie is about finished. Let's see if this one's better. Ooh, yes. Okay. So here is the body that comes all the way down. Now I'm just gonna pause. Haha, <laughs> get it? Pause, cat's feet. Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna come back and start here. And I'm gonna draw the legs actually that come all the way down. <coughs> There's one, and then here's two. This is almost like a W. I'm not gonna have that line quite touch. I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit. Then I can add the feet or the paws. And then keep in mind, we know that cats have four legs. The way this cat is sitting, the legs would sort of be tucked underneath. Okay, time for the tail. I'm gonna start sort of with a backwards S. And 
And then I'm going to make this a nice thick line by coming around and following it. Okay, so here is sort of my Laurel Birch cat shape. But again, she uses shapes and lines to create designs in her artwork. So now I'm going to start filling in with some shapes and lines. I'm using some triangles. We see a lot of triangles in her work. Maybe you see some stripes in her work. So maybe that's going to work on the tail. And like I said, next week we'll add bold, bright colors. Maybe I'm going to add some dots as design. Oh, that sort of looks like she has bracelets. Maybe I'll add a few more just to um, think about those in a different way. If you're drawing in pencil first, that is always a great idea. Go ahead and trace that in a marker or press nice and hard with your pencil because we want to see these lines. Um, uh, Laurel Birch does use outlining in her work and her outlines are often different colors. So if I want, I could even come and add another um, line around it around some of the shapes that are happening. Okay, have lots of fun with a Laurel Birch cat today and take a photo of your drawing and send it to me. One other thing is you will see on your class pages that there's some information, um, a class page rather, about the virtual art show. So there's a video and a place to hand in an assignment that you would like to have included in our virtual art show, which will happen not next week, but the next week, um, that third week of May. All right, have a lot of fun. Make sure you look at Laurel Birch's artwork too.